Hello everybody, welcome to Hughes Garage. Today, we're gonna to be installing a AFE cold air intake, the Magnum Force Edition, with the blue filter from AFE Power on a brand new 2019 Ram 1500. We're gonna do a step-by-step -step installation. Okay, like I said, we've got the AFE Power Magnum Force. Um, here's everything that it includes. So we've got the air filter. Um, when I first got mine, they didn't have the blue one in stock, but they, I was able to order it. So what they did was they sent me the gray one um, until I got this. But for some reason, it all shipped at the same time. Anyways, we'll be installing the blue one, which is the Pro 5R. It's the 24-9108 part number. Right here we've got the, the housing, the tube, the fittings, the seals, clamps. We've got it all ready. The air temp sensor um, ready to be installed. Okay, first things first. You're going to have to take off your factory stock air filter box and all this. Uh, it's six 10 millimeter screws. So first you're gonna get that done. Okay, once you've done taking off them screws, the clamps on here are eight millimeter. So we're gonna unscrew that one. All right, once you get that off, the next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna disconnect the uh, temperature sensor harness, which is this one. And then you're also gonna do the crankcase vent connector, which is right here. You're gonna remove that from this tube. Okay, once you've disconnected everything, get an eight millimeter socket for this clamp. Then you're going to take this off and you're done with the removal process. Okay, once we got everything removed, this is pretty much what we're looking at. Now to do the install. Okay guys, just to give you all a comparison, um, this is a factory intake box. And it also has the, you know, you got your drop-in filter. I had a Spectra in there that I put in until they released this AFE power one. Um, and then you got this little, mat, this little mesh net right here. Look at this tube. Compared to the other one, I mean, big difference, guys, big difference. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to use the AFE housing. We're going to put the trim that comes with the kit onto the top of this, and it seals it with the hood, supposedly. We're going to put this filter on also, and then we're going to screw them down into the uh, bottom half of the stock intake housing. Okay. Also, the six screws that you got to use for the intake is going to be the screws that come out of the stock intake. All right, guys, once we got this part installed, we're going to go over here to the new intake. All right, you're going to put this MPT 3 8 fitting in right here. You're going to put this grommet that's included in the kit, by the way, right here. And then you're going to put this, uh, I believe it's a temperature sensor fitting. You're going to put that inside of the grommet once you get that in there. To get this MPT fitting on there, you're going to need a 20 millimeter wrench. Okay, once you get that done, you're going to take the temperature sensor out of the factory intake tube and put it onto the new one. Once that is done, you're going to use a coupling that comes with the kit. You're going to get an 8 millimeter socket, uh, number 56 clamp, I think, in their part numbers. And then you're going to install it onto the throttle body and tighten it down good. Make sure you got it in there. Then you're going to install the intake. All right, once you got the intake tube in there, you're going to put it in this coupling. You're going to tighten this clamp. You're going to put it into the air filter part. You're going to tighten it down with a clamp. Then you're going to plug in your sensors. Don't forget to do that. All right, once you got that in, sensors clamped in, everything good to go, make sure all the screws are tightened down, make sure this thing won't fall off, and then you're going to go for a ride. But here it is, installed. 